We're going to do a little nerve exercise. This is Elizabeth. Hi. Um, hi. Um, she's one of my students. Um, my nerve work at this point is a little shot. I haven't been doing it. It's a use it or lose it operation, at least for me. Um, so we'll do some intro kind of exercises um, and then talk about how you can build from it. So one of the things that you need to know is that nerve isn't just as fast as you can for as, the sake of as fast as you can. You should still be in a time to do it. So typically it's like maybe a fast 16th note um, or a faster triplet or a double time triplet, like a uh, even though it's in a nerve, it still is in time. Or it still isn't a time. So that's important to know. Um, when you're getting the feeling of it, you just want to get the feeling of it. But the idea is it should be in time. So I teach students and when I'm introducing it uh, in a time uh, way. So let's try. Um, let's do uh, on a dig first. So there's different places you can do it. So one of the things that I do is like strike at the top. And then as you're letting the vibration happen, you want the students to find a place in their body where the nerve takes over. It's a you know when you feel it kind of a thing, at least for me. Is it that way for you? Yes. It's a you know when you feel it. Um, but the important thing is strike and you know that you're letting the vibration happen. So we'll start with um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's see. Other side. So that tempo is slow, but it's just to give you an idea of what we're doing, so you feel the time between the eighth and the sixteenth note that we just did. Um, so to get it faster, um, you want to get out of the control of it, strike, and then feel the vibration. Let's try it up there. One, two, three, four. Other side. Um, so let's try it. So you do the same thing on uh, back to So the same thing. Strike, strike. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what the idea is. Let's try uh, front one. Oh, and so, strike at the top. These are usually my worst ones. Usually the toe is not bad, so I really don't know what's about to happen now. One, two, three, and. Then you add another set to it. Let's do it just on the dig, just so you get an idea. One, two, Oh, disaster. On the toe. So a, a triplet would feel like. 
I try to find ways, especially when they're introing that vocabulary, to put vocabulary in to make sure that they have a nice lead-in and a nice setup. Like I'm giving a nice setup to get, to get into the nerve. So even in choreography, I try to give like a like so for them to get into it with a good technique setup for whichever nerve that it is. So if you're on so that you can get in and out of the nerve gracefully um, and make sure that it's in a place where you can actually hear it and instead on stage you can actually see it um, but don't put it in the loudest part of your music because nobody's going to appreciate it because it's really hard there you go 